Greetings, Captain. In previous How It Works episodes, we covered some basic aspects of World of Warships. Now it's time to shed light on advanced things. They will come in handy to both newcomers to the game and veteran players. When in battle, enable the alternative interface mode in the settings. This will show you the names of all ships in battle, their HP and the nicknames of captains helming them. Also, the adaptive option only displays detailed information for ships close to you or within your binocular view. Suppose you want to know about everyone visible to you in battle. Press Alt. The same button will help you when the alternative mode is disabled. Usually, we don't recommend neglecting to helm your ship in battle. However, if you want to focus on firing alone, the autopilot will come in handy. Press M and plot a course using the left mouse button. You can set a route with several points by holding Shift. Now your ship is sailing on her own. When you need to regain control of the ship, reset the autopilot using buttons A, D, Q and E. Noticed a retreating target while playing a destroyer or light cruiser? Before hiding behind a smoke screen, take a look at the counter for damage upon your spotting. It might be the case that you're spotting the target for your team. As soon as you hide behind a smoke screen, the target will disappear. Thus, make sure to enable this counter in battle. You can do so in the Controls tab of the game settings. A convenient crosshair is a guarantee of precise firing. The game has lots of them, with marks, without marks, colored and dynamic ones. Check out the spider crosshair. It makes it easier to aim, especially while using spotting aircraft or when a target is moving at an angle. You can find even more crosshair options and interface improvements in the official mod pack. You can download it from the World of Warships website. Use quick commands in battle. Press B and don't be shy to ask for help. Thank your allies or tell them that they are wrong. But don't overdo it with quick messages. Your teammates can block messages from overly talkative players. If a combat situation allows, approach a key area with your stern, even while using a smoke screen. Guide your ship to the place where torpedoes might come from. That way, it'll be harder to hit you. Another advantage of approaching a key area with your stern is that you can gain speed and flee faster in case of danger. When helming destroyers, disable your AA defenses using the P button. It'll make it harder for enemy aircraft carriers to spot you. Also, make sure to enable the aircraft spotting areas and operating range of your AA defenses on the minimap. If there's no way to avoid fighting enemy aviation, activate a priority AA sector by pressing O or the tilt button. It's important to wisely choose which side to enhance and always take evasive actions so it'll be harder for aircraft to hit you. What if your target is setting a smoke screen or is about to leave your spotting range and your guns haven't reloaded yet? Press Shift plus X to lock the crosshair onto a single spot. You'll be able to fire at the spot where your opponent was last seen. But don't forget that shell dispersion increases twofold if no target has been locked onto. Hitting a target firing from behind a smoke screen is also possible by using spotting aircraft. As you remember, in this case, a ship's aiming view is changed. The camera gets higher, so you can take a vertical lead on your target more precisely. Now, take a look at the shell tracer coming from the smoke. A tracer starting point is pretty much where the main gun firing a shell is located. Aim for the spot slightly below the tracer and open fire. If tracers constantly come from the same spot, it means that the ship is stationary behind a smoke screen. Such a target is easier to hit. Remember though, that skilled players constantly move while hiding behind a smoke screen. In such cases, you need to think about target leads as well. 
Another method of firing at unseen targets is during a cyclone. That's when the minimap will come in handy. You can always see a small circle on it, indicating the position of your reticle. With it, you can try aiming at an enemy inside a cyclone. There's a hint that will help you aim in such situations correctly. Pay attention to the circle on the minimap when the battle is played in usual weather conditions. By doing so, you'll memorize the correct lead you should take when firing at targets located at various ranges. So when a cyclone range is on the map, you'll be able to use this experience you've gained. When in the port, check out the penetration capability of your high explosive shells, especially for artillery destroyers and cruisers. It is also worth checking out the armor layout of your primary opponents. This will help you know what your ship is capable of in an artillery duel with high explosive shells and which part of the enemy hull you should aim for. Depending on a battle situation, switch shell types, even while helming battleships. Suppose a target exposes its side at the right angle, then fire armor-piercing shells at them. On the other hand, if a target acts cautiously and moves, pointing their bow toward you or retreats, exposing their rear, it's time for high explosive shells. Finally, try out different upgrades and commander skills. This way you'll be able to alter the battle type of your ship. For example, you can make a stealthy torpedo ship out of a true artillery ship, such as Kleber. By replacing smoke generator with surveillance radar, you can entirely alter the playstyle for cruiser Minotaur. The game contains a plethora of such examples. This will help you look at your accustomed ship in a new way. We'll continue explaining the basics of our game to you in the next episodes of How It Works. Remember, Knowledge of the game is the path to victory.